welcome guys to this tutorial and um, today I want to tackle a very good um, topic that uh, I've received a lot of uh, questions about and uh, that is uh, basically displaying data from various sources and uh, in this case I'll be using GeoJSON and then um, I want us to uh, tackle one issue of uh, data filtering into our application and um, uh, there's a series that I did on GeoJango. I'll be using the same code. It's a uh, can be found. This code will be found on uh, GitHub. You can we check the previous videos? And um, we had this data, but um, if you check uh, the admin here, um, we usually have um, like the incidences. I want us to classify the different uh, incidences that we have. If you check here, there's an attribute where you have an a status which is fair or so bad. So I want us like um, to display the different uh, data types or different instances on this map, and then uh, we show it to like someone can select using the control here. Um, so what we'll be doing will be filtering that when the data comes to the map here. If it's bad, it will be shown as bad. If it's um, maybe worse, it will be shown as worse, and uh, we'll be doing that very fast. Uh, so we'll be using this column, or this uh, field here for the status to filter the data into the three categories. So we have about five incidences, this is what we'll be using. So I will get to the code that used last time. Um, what we need to do is um, we need to check on um, maybe the various uh, aspect of maybe how do we check or how do we get the data from um, we having the data from this the county and the incidences here so we adding is that point so we want as this data comes into the system here we can filter it and maybe have a, a data set which would be maybe bad worse or maybe uh, fair so we'll be um we'll do away with the points uh, layer and then we we'll place it here so uh the first step will be uh i want to copy this and uh duplicate that one here and then maybe we're gonna call this uh it's point to bad so like that so we, we want to use the same uh, column or the same the same data set here which is incidences and then we'll have a, a filter a function so uh, the function will uh, help in uh, filtering the data and maybe check is it bad worse or maybe is it um is it fair so that's what we'll be doing in the this section and I, I want us to show uh, very easily here so what we'll do, uh, we'll add a filter function. So uh, we'll have, for example, filter, and then we maybe have a filter bad, yeah. So that will be the name of our, our, our function. So we can have the function at the top here, or maybe below, yeah, you can have it in here. And then uh, it's just simple, the function is uh, will be uh, very, uh, you just check the column and then fetch the data for us. So we're gonna give it the the name here, which is filter bad. So um, we're gonna have that, and then so this is what we'll be uh, we'll be checking, and then uh, as a variable here, uh, we have uh, our features because uh, we're using the the feature here. These are features that we're getting to uh, from these instances. So uh, we we have the features, so we can continue, and um, we'll have like a simple if function. And then uh, we'll say feature dot uh, properties of which it's what we've used here. So we'll check the column and then we have status. And then we'll say if it's equals to, for example, uh, if you check the models here, we have fair but worse. So uh, we're gonna have to input the bad, for example. And then we, we say maybe if, if it's bad, it should return to us as true. So this is what we'll be fetching. So this function will be called here and then it will filter our data. And then uh, we we'll put it under this variable, which is point bad. And then you can come uh, down here and uh, we say that add to map. So uh, there you are. And then we can replace this one here. So we can have that and then we, for example, uh, or maybe we can leave it. And then we add another one, which will be now our uh, bad incidences, something like that. And then we have points bad. 
Yeah, so um, if we reload now our map here, uh, we shall now have something different in the control here. And then uh, if we uncheck the initial instances, you see uh, we have two left. So these are, when you check the system, we have at least two which are bad. So this this one, and maybe I think the second one or maybe the third one, I don't know which one. But uh, one of them is also bad. So um, yeah, this one. So we have two points on the map here. So maybe we can change the, the color for this. I guess under the images we have a different, uh, yeah, so uh, bad is not, uh, so we can put maybe, we can change this one to, I'm seeing we have green. Yeah, something like that. So um, we reload that. Yeah, there you are. So um, you can do this for the rest of the, the, uh, the, the, the statuses, like uh, the was and the fair, and then have them as layers. So this data is being filtered on the fly as a you check. So it comes as a the incident and then we put the function and then it will filter data. So uh, maybe you having data that you want to show different categories, you can always do it here. The other alternative would be doing at the server side, at the, maybe the, the URLs here or the views. But this one is just a simple hack for when uh, maybe you don't have so many uh, point data or maybe the data is small. So you can use that. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this tutorial. And uh, remember to subscribe to this channel so that to get more updates on other videos of cutting on GIS and uh, the use of other software. So thank you very much.